Hello, welcome to Life with Miss D. I'm in my backyard and I wanted to show you my sugar baby watermelon. And I think it's ready, I think. Now, I have never grown watermelon before, but I'm just experimenting. And let me just inspect it really good and see. I'm knocking on it, tapping on it, rolling it over. And it's still on the vine. You see it's on the vine there. I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and try it now. Wait. But I think it's ready. I think, I think it's ready. I just don't know. So, uh... As you can see, this is the biggest one. I have uh, one over there in the corner there. I also have, see, I got a little one right here. And then I got one, a little one right there. And another one uh, right there about the size of a, almost the size of a bowling ball, not quite. The one that I'm cutting is about the size of a bowling ball. It's about the size of a bowling ball. So, uh, it's August, today is August the 6th. And I'm just wondering, I wonder if I should, I wonder if I should just give it another week. What should I do? I just, I don't want it to rot. I don't, but it looks, it's hard, it's firm, it looks good. I don't know. What y'all think? You think I should cut them? <sighs> but this is the sugar baby watermelon. Ugh, I'm trying to decide. Ugh. I really don't know how big they get, but I don't think the sugar baby watermelon gets too big. That's probably as big as it's gonna get. But, hmm. What should I do? Somebody put some comments in there. If you've had the sugar baby watermelon, let me know. Is it time to cut it? How big do they get? What do I need to do? We had rain today. I think we had rain yesterday, and I worry about it being in the, you know, just sit down here. I kind of worry about it. But as you can tell, you see it's still on the vine. It's still on the vine. It's firm and hard. It feels nice. It feels good. It's not soggy anywhere or soft anywhere. So I'm just trying to decide. Ooh, y'all. Uh, it's a little muddy out here because it rained today. There's a bell pepper. And I've noticed my bell peppers just, they just aren't getting big like I had hoped. Real small. There's one pretty small and uh, I have a few bell peppers over here and they're small too I might need to get this one before something else gets it my hands are a little dirty because I've been messing with that watermelon Whew. I'm gonna have cantaloupe soon over here this is cantaloupe now, the last time I did cantaloupe last year, my cantaloupe wasn't sweet. It had a really soft, buttery texture, but it just wasn't sweet, so it may be the seeds that I had. Still got tomatoes growing. Still got okra. I clipped okra yesterday. I cut some yesterday because, you know, okra grows really fast. There's one right there. So... I'm out in the backyard and try to decide if I should cut that watermelon or not. Just don't really know. Um, what else? That's it. That's all I really have growing. Just some flowers. But I'm just curious about that watermelon. Very curious about the watermelon. Okay, so put it in the comments if you've had sugar baby watermelon. Is that a sweet watermelon? I started by a watermelon 
in the grocery store and it was seven dollars at sam's and i didn't do it because i knew i had one in the backyard i wanted to wait for it so okay so make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel welcome to life with miss d and thank you so much for watching and uh, let me know what fruits and vegetables you're growing in your garden and i'll see you in the next video hopefully in the next video i'll be cutting the watermelon and i really hope it's sweet because i really like watermelon thanks for watching okay you guys i think i'm gonna cut that watermelon okay today is tuesday and we had rain i think every day sunday monday tuesday and I'm afraid if I let that watermelon stay out there, it's going to rot because of all the water and the, the rain that we've had. And I don't want it sitting on in uh, on a damp ground for too long. So let's go outside and get the watermelon, okay? Okay, let's go out here and get this watermelon. I got on my boots. Let me see if I could. Well, okay. Okay. Okay, I cut it. All right, let me get it. Okay, I have the watermelon, so we're going to go inside, and we're going to cut it, and I hope it's sweet. I hope it's ripe. I really don't know, but this is the sugar baby watermelon. I need to wash it really good because it's very dirty, but uh, be right back. Okay, so here's the watermelon, and I'm going to clean it really good and I really hope it's ready I don't know like I said I've never grown watermelon before I've never grown watermelon before so I don't know if it's ready or not but we're gonna see together we're gonna taste it together well I'll taste it and I'll let you know okay Ooh, dirt everywhere because this is a dirty watermelon right out of the backyard this is called a sugar baby watermelon, okay? And so, I wanna say the seeds came from either Lowe's or Dollar Tree. Can't remember where I bought the seeds at. But let me get a knife and we're gonna cut it. Let me get the camera pushed back so you can see. Whew. And we hope that it is ripe and ready. Let me make sure I clean it good. Okay. All right, let me get my knife. Woo. Okay, the moment of truth. Let me make sure I adjust that. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna cut it. This is the sugar baby watermelon. Okay. Okay, I grew this in the backyard. Okay, this is what it looks like. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay. Let's see. If it's sweet, I'll let you know, and if it's not, I'll let you know. Okay, it's sweet. It tastes like regular watermelon. Yeah, and it's got seeds, as you can see. It's got it's got this, the white seeds and the 
black seeds. Well, really, they look kind of brown. Let me see. Let me taste it again. This watermelon is warm because it's been out in the outside. But it's sweet. It's sweet. I'm trying to think what I would. Maybe it's a six on the scale of sweetness. I've had sweeter ones, but I think it's ripe and I think it's it was ready to be cut from what I can taste. Let me taste it again. Yes, it's good. So what I, I really like it when it's colder but I'm gonna cut it up and put it in the refrigerator. So this is the Sugar Baby Watermelon, just to let you know. I have about four more out there and they're smaller, so they have to mature and get ready. But yeah, I think this is ripe and it's, it was ready to be uh, cut. If you have grown, if you have grown the, um, the sugar baby watermelon, let me know if you like it. If Just give me some tips on growing the sugar baby watermelon and how it's supposed to taste and how sweet is it supposed to be and when, how long does it take to get right. Just put some comments in the comment section if you have ever grown the sugar baby watermelon. All right, thank you guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching Life with Miss D. she can see. Okay, so this is my watermelon. Okay, I'm gonna put this watermelon in the refrigerator and let it get cold and then I'll eat it. Okay, thank you again for watching Life with Miss D.